what is happening everybody we are back with another reaction video i wanted to say something else but then i stopped myself <laughs> that's probably why that sounded weird uh anyway gonna be reacting to honest trailers the predator 2018. have they done honest trailers for predator 2? i have to look it up anyway Let's go ahead and get into that. See what Honest Trails have to say. I'm pretty sure they didn't like it. All right, here we go. Where's, where's, where's Now that the Terminator franchise has been run into the ground, and the Alien franchise is on life support. I'll do the fingering. The Predator franchise will be dug up from its grave, dusted off, and have it space stomped in. That surprised me Predator. when he just got killed like that. I was Did like, you love the razor focused the intensity of the first and only good one? Hey, Predator 2 well, is awesome. Bad, Fuck you. Because this is a film about a team of outcasts Fucker. being hunted by an alien. And a predator rebelling against his own people to save the earth. And an autistic boy's unlikely gifts. And one soldier's quest yeah, autism to clear is, his is name. The next step in and a biologist unraveling the was interesting. of predator-human evolution. All at the same time. In this sloppy mess, barely held together by dialogue written by Shane Black's character in Predator 1. You know, I'd like a little thing. It's your thing. Chase, you got a big He called me a nobody calls me a so... Huh? Yeah, it was that. That was, Meet that the was weird. Outcast soldiers stripped of their ranks and all but one character trait. What are we, some kind of suicide squad? Playing a man with movie Tourette's. I got, got Keegan, stop doing your mama jokes. How do you circumcise a homeless man? Kick your mom in the chin. If your mom's vagina were a video game, it'd be rated E for everyone. The guy from Moonlight mumbling through a cigarette. Mm. Mm. Theon Greyjoy in search of a reason to be in the movie. Oh. And the bad guy from Logan in a star turn as a generic soldier with a very elastic butthole. Yeah, that was, I was Built thinking that was like, that thing Olivia is big. A biologist whose combat training comes out of nowhere because apparently her intro scene had a real predator in it. And they'll all fight the evil Sterling oh. K. Brown, who's here to kick ass and chew bubble gum. He was wasted in this movie. He's all out of... He's all... He's... Okay, I guess he's just here to chew gum and die. That was so fucking the stupid. Is back to save us all. When that so, happened, I was like, what the fuck? To, uh, humankind. Or not. It's unclear. Yeah, I was like, why and is he time, killing everybody? The galaxy's greatest hunter must face I'm here to save everybody, but I'm gonna kill dodge. you to just... Expansion of the lore. The dreads. I don't know, maybe like sensory receptors? For franchise. What? Purposes. Remember how I told you how they take people's spines, right? I think they're attempting hybridization. Hey guys, Alien Hunts Badasses yeah. is all we need. Three word pitch, done. So if yeah, you, well, you start over explaining battles, things sometimes, it, just, it doesn't work. And immortal one liners. Rewatch the original. Yeah. Stick, Stick around. Because the only thing here being stalked, killed, and kept as a trophy is your time. You are one ugly mother f Starring G.I. Schmo, Chewy, Young Sheldon, X Wing at Aloysiousness, Missouri Western State University, Dr. Tough Lady Girl, no. PhD, You versus the Predator She Told You Not to Worry About, Stupor Shredder. I Dura thought that 10. was so stupid this that ended up. And that thing where dogs look like their owner. Audience oh, versus aliens. Predator. <laughs> Hulk, Alien, The Thing, I Am Legend, The Fly, Ghostbusters, this movie. Why does every single nerd franchise have evil dogs in it? Can a monster get an evil turtle or something? <laughs> no. My carpet matches my drapes. Good Peter know. Parker here to pick up a passport, please. I am the Hubba Jubba Man. Yummy, yummy. I like hamburgers in my tummy. My hamster is in the gym. 
<laughs> okay, that last one. Okay, I'll be honest. I did not like Predators. I really wanted to like it. I even do like I normally do with movies. It's particularly movies I don't like. I watched it twice. Back to back, actually. And I was like, I didn't dislike it more because, like, some things I caught on the second time around. But that ending with the suit, I was like, oh my god, this is stupid. Like, and the, the, the kid wearing the helmet thing, I was, eh, I mean, it was kind of stupid, but I was, eh, it, it was fine, I guess. But the, I thought it was interesting with the whole, the predators actually. I mean, it's kind of a red con, but I guess they're saying. At first, I thought they were saying like the predators are kind of. Now they're trying to crossbreed with other species to make themselves more powerful, because they seem to be you know, hunter, hunter, hunters to be the most, I guess, accomplished hunters in the in the galaxy, which would mean they're the strongest warriors in the galaxy to them. But when it seemed like they were like this was the whole intention, like they kind of retconned that everything's like, oh, they were doing this intentionally. Kind of like what they do with Alien vs. Predator when the uh, the alien, I mean alien, the predator, well, <laughs> he is an alien, but the predator carved that mark on, uh, uh, why am I forgetting her name? Uh, damn, I forgot, I'm going to forget her name. Is it is it Shin, Shin, Shania? Sh oh, fuck. I think it's Shania. I don't forget her name. But the black lady in that movie. When he, when he like burned that mark on her face. I guess saying like, oh well. Because he burned that same mark on his forehead. And I was thinking, I said, I've never seen other predators with that. So like, were they not full-fledged predators? Or were they in training? Or like, what was... What was going on? Cause they did that in that movie. Uh, uh, well, not not Predators. The Predator. Predators was the other one. What um, it was Adrian Broder or Bro Browder? Or but when they was on the other planet, and they had the, and they were like they were dropping Predators, and I thought they were just in there doing like, hey, it's a controlled environment. This planet, we don't have to deal with a bunch of the bullshit. We drop creatures or aliens here. And this planet's already set up. We already got traps and all that type of shit here. And we just come here and hunt. That way we ain't got to go to somebody else's home world and kind of be on their turf. We on This is our turf type thing. But it's just, uh, that movie, The the, the Predator, 2008, I just, uh, it just, for some reason... It, it it bugged me. Like it was, I was like I wanted because I was trying to force myself to like it. And I was just like, at the end I was like, oh, it wasn't that bad. And I, the first time I watched it, I watched it the second time. I was like, no, nah, this isn't good. Like when I watched Aquaman, the first time I looked at Aquaman, I thought it was, I thought I actually really liked it. The second time. I still really liked it. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, of course, there were things in it that I guess you say didn't make sense in, I guess, a scientific type thing. But, I mean, it's a movie about underwater creatures, basically, who are pretty much powered by magic. That when they're, they, They've been transformed by magic to be able to adapt to aquatic life. So... I mean, they talk about we have renewed. It did remind me of what people, you know, people, of course, people are comparing it to Black Panther, but uh, it reminded me because in that movie they said they had renewable energy before, like, anybody else on the planet. And uh, it's funny because in Black Panther, you know, they had, they, they've been, you know, decades ahead of everybody else te technologically. And they just like, you know what? Let's just not share any of this with anybody else. 
or at least the, not necessarily like you have to give them your technology but you can at least like slowly like give them some like no one said you had to uh, bring them to Wakanda and all this stuff to show them like, stuff like you could send somebody out and like and to hey you know give them this like here's a blueprint like of something not necessarily leading to like a, a ship or a flying ship or but like you know a car or I don't know renewable car energy cars because Algum had the same thing as a renewable energy but then they're upset that the surface dwellers are polluting the ocean with like different things well you know like whatever over fishing and stuff like that but you have renewable energy you could have given that and apparently they still have it in, in Atlantis now you can share that with everybody that way they at least didn't stop pumping oil you know if they had actually something that would have renewable energy that I mean we're, we get, we're doing we're in great strides of doing that now especially we had the electric car for decades but that was kind of undermined by the uh, oil companies but still like you have actual renewable energy like that. <laughs> you're like, yeah, we're not going to go share with anybody. This, this is, I like, I'm going to be stingy with. Like, that, that was one thing I like, well, you kind of fucked up because y'all were being stingy. Now you're upset because, you know, they're using, the surface is using what they got to progress. And they have to start somewhere until they get to the next step. And now you're like, well, they fucking up all the ocean by pumping oil, but we have this renewable energy over here that we didn't even try to share. <laughs> but anyway, I'm getting off on and and Black Panther Aquaman. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like this movie. I really wanted to, but I just didn't like it. I like, I found something like about every other Predator movie that I can watch it multiple times like I've seen Alien vs Predator probably at least six or seven times maybe more but uh I haven't seen the what thing is Alien vs Predator Requiem I haven't watched that one as much that one that one reminds me more of this movie The Predator than the the Predator the Predators I thought they, they tried to go back I know a lot of people were talking about oh, how the, the main guy in that uh, is it is it Browner or Broner? I might be getting him confused with the box agent who just fought Manny Pacquiao. But uh, a lot of people say he didn't look tough and all this stuff. I was like, he was fine. I mean, no one he didn't need to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like he's supposed to be replaced Arnold Schwarzenegger or something like that. I was like, he didn't need to look like Arnold to be a tough guy. You know, most guys in the military don't look like that. I mean, he's a mercenary. But still, like, <laughs> you don't look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. And, uh, but Predator, Predator 2, love that movie. I don't give a fuck what anybody say. Uh, then, then, the Alien vs. Predator. The Predators, or it would. I can't remember which one. I think Predator Requiem, Alien vs. Predator Requiem came out first. I didn't even mind. I didn't mind that one that much, but it still wasn't a great movie. And then this movie, I just like, I just couldn't, couldn't, couldn't get behind. I was like, I just, I bought this fucking movie. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I was like, glad I didn't go to movies to go see that. But still. Anyway, what y'all think? Of? I'm sure a lot of people. I've seen a lot of comments on it on Instagram. People hated that movie. I mean, I didn't like it. I hate is a strong word, but <laughs> listen, I, I can understand where people are coming from. I didn't hate it, but I didn't like it. <laughs> but anyway, what y'all think of it? Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.